following show is a paid program. Hey family, thanks so much for coming. Hey, looking at this with Monique White. She is a great, great, great friend of mine. What's happened is that uh, with Monique, she has her own TV show. It's called Our Life TV Show, and we've been friends quite a bit. Monique White was born and raised in Opelousas, Louisiana, and she really speaks about living your best life now. She speaks to a lot of women about what they can do, and she, she teaches them about overcoming hardships and removing their mask. Monique White, hey lady, how you doing? Hey Cam, how are you? Thank you for having me. Absolutely, I appreciate it so much. I love what you talk about on your show. Let's talk a little bit about the mask and what you speak to women about, and then your own journey. Well, uh, I've always, everyone has always heard from your grandmother or your mother. We've always said uh, women wear multiple hats. Well, we wear multiple masks. And in 2015, I felt it was time that we remove our masses and really discuss what we live with. May it be cancer, domestic violence, uh, sexual abuse. Let's take those masses off and be free, be transparent and not be afraid to be judged anymore. So uh, that's what basically our life is created uh, for. Absolutely, I love that. I love the fact that you speak about your journey. Let's go into the journey about how you got here from Opelousas, Louisiana. <laughs> I love that, I love that location. Oh, oh Lord. Uh, <laughs> how do you get to Houston? Uh, I have been here almost 30 years mm -hmm. uh, here in Houston. Um, I moved here because one of my sisters wanted me to move right after graduation, which I did. Mm -hmm. um, and I just started working and doing X, Y, and Z and mm -hmm. uh, made Houston my home. Right. And uh, 10 years ago, I got wrapped up with my business partner and started doing TV. That's a short version. That's a short version of it. We got a lot. We got an That's hour. Short. <laughs> <laughs> That's a short Sorry, version of it. Okay. You also speak about the mask and what, like you said, what women do, but you go extensively into it when you're on your show and you kind of talk to women about depression. You speak to them about mental illness. You talk to them about the fact sexual assault, dep uh, domestic violence, uh, just things that impact women on a, many of them on a daily basis, but they're silenced. Well, I want them to feel comfortable mm -hmm. uh, and not feel judged yes. because, uh, even like I tell people, I can't do this show if I'm not willing to remove my own mask. Right, right. So I have, and and over the years, I mean, I've shared with people. I've been homeless. I was homeless one time and still on television. Wow. And only my close circle knew that. Um, so you, I, I talk about depression. Mm -hmm. I've been through my own uh, two year battle with depression, and I came from. Um, a household with a phenomenal mother, but she suffered from depression. Wow. Wow. When you first look back at depression and you look back at maybe the uh, signs of it, because many people don't know when someone maybe is clinically depressed versus somebody having a bad day that day. Well, I mean, for me, um, because I watched my mom, I was a kid yeah. when, um, uh, my mom suffered with depression and stayed six years in a mental institution mm -hmm. and all of that stuff. And when it came to me, um, I saw the signs. Mm -hmm. I, I started pulling away from everyone. Mm -hmm. I was going to church. I started pulling away from everyone. I would go to church and sit there and, and my attitude was like, why am I here? Right. Um, I started. I just, number one, I was pulling away from everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, and I knew something was wrong. 
Right. And because I, because I watched the things, how my mom had to go through with depression, it, I guess it was kind of easy for me to say, okay, let me reach out and get help. Right. Now I did reach out and get help, but I also tried to kill myself too. Wow. And so it, it, it's a process, but for me, I saw that something was wrong with me mm. and I was depressed and, and I was stuck in a depression because uh, my sister passed away. So my sister passed away suddenly. And then my best friend passed away eight months later. Mm-hmm. And I stayed stuck in that cycle of, of depression and grief and not really coming out of one and going into the mm-hmm. next one and dealing with it. Mm-hmm. So everybody, if you get depressed, it doesn't mean that you are depressed because you are schizophrenic. Everybody is not schizophrenic. A life change can make you fall into a deep depression. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you have to see, you have to see some type of sign to know it's time for me to get some help mm-hmm. and not just continue to sink deeper and deeper into the depression. Now, depression, when we think about it, and that's why I said depression, when someone maybe have a bad day and then clinically mm-hmm. depressed when someone cannot get out of physically get out of the bed, physically get out of the bed and move around during the day. They just want to sleep. They want to stay in the bed, put the covers over their head. That's what I mean as far as, is that what it's looking like? And and that's how I was. That's how I was. Mm -hmm. I I was still interact, but my interaction with individuals was, it was getting to be real, real slim. It was getting to be real, real slim, where I was really just pulling myself away from everybody Mm -hmm. and, and staying in my house in my own little shell. Wow. Wow. Yeah. And I'm glad we're talking about that because suicide is on the rise, especially now that COVID has happened. We have many people that are in home, okay, and many of them are alone. They're at home Mm -hmm. alone. And in doing so, as far as maybe TV or something like that, 40 million people have been laid off also. So Mm -hmm. all that coupled, including children staying at home, maybe doing virtual schooling, but not interacting with children. Yeah. And see, I think uh, since we've been in COVID, a lot of people, Cam, are not accustomed to being at home on a daily basis like that. Right. So that will weigh on your mental your mental health dramatically because mm-hmm. they're not accustomed to being at home like that and and not re- being able to have that social contact with people. It's not it's not that many people that are or wanting to be at home like that. So it's very difficult for um, individuals right? in that situation. And you also talk to uh, women that are going through domestic violence. I've just looked at some statistics, and it's three times the uh, amount that it may, be, may have been last year, as far as statistics, statistics are concerned, is three <laughs> times people are more violent at this time. I'm just saying as far as how many calls are coming in, it's three times the calls. Exactly. Uh, I did a domestic violence show where I had, uh, I think it was like five women on there. Mm-hmm. And ugh, Cam. Yes. Oh, my God. When I say they were straight, honest, and transparent. Yes. I had one uh, lady, and, she, and we got to be very good friends and still friends to this day. Mm-hmm. And she told me how her husband, he was uh, bipolar. Mm-hmm. Uh, and schizophrenic, I do believe. And he put her in the back of the trunk of the car, choked her out, put her in the trunk of the car with their child in the front and drove her to a, a, a open field. He was going to kill her. Yes. Yes. The, the, the son is what stopped him from doing that. I have another young lady that uh, was on that same show, very good friends with. She talked about how back in the day, how she was young. Mm -hmm. She was influenced by that, the fast crowd. And she said her last step and and her last thing to realize I need to leave is when he bust her in the head with a pipe. And that's Mm -hmm. when she said, I need to leave. And my question to all of them was, why do you stay? Because that's normally the question we ask them. Right. But they have to get, you have, they have to get to a certain point to know you still going to make it. Right. If you leave. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. No matter if you don't have any mm -hmm. money, mm -hmm. don't have nowhere to go, it's resources. You still will make it if you leave. Absolutely. I think the other thing that many of the women think is that they're going to change that person. No, you can't change nobody. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can't, can't change not. anybody. That won't change. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. You also speak to women about sexual assault and date rape. And you educate yes. them many times on what that means and what it looks like. Um, I, I personally, uh, have never, uh, experienced, um, mm -hmm. that situation right. in my life. Mm -hmm. Um, so women, I mean, w we are looked at, I think as women totally different. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of strong women, Yes. but I think at times we're still looked at as weak yeah. and, and vulnerable mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, I think in situations when we're dating anybody, we need to do our research on that person, pay attention, mm -hmm. always watch the surroundings when you're out in the public. Because I go a lot of places by myself. Wow. And I always, friends fuss at me <laughs> all the time. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I always watch my surroundings mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So it's... Um, and that's another thing that's on the rise, especially with the sex trafficking that's going yes. on now. Yes. Yes. It's. Yes. Absolutely. It's, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. In speaking of that, we, uh, you are, have an upcoming event with your church. And yes, I do. Let's I'm talk to them and it. let's talk to, let's say there's some uh, celebrations on today. Most definitely. Most definitely. So. Um, I am a member of the Church Without Walls, mm -hmm. and I am in leadership for the Mosaic Women's Ministry, and we're having our annual Amazing Women's Weekend, which is a three-day, we well, normally a two-day weekend, but this year is three days, mm -hmm. and unfortunately, due to uh, COVID, it will be virtual, it's complimentary. All the women have to do all over the world is go and register at www.amazingwomensweekend.com. Mm -hmm. This event uh, starts September 10th. And on mm -hmm. September 10th, it's an hour of nothing but prayer. Nothing mm. but prayer for a whole hour. And I think in this day and time, we need a whole lot of that mm -hmm. <laughs> for real. Right. Um, September 11th is the full day of the conference where we'll have some phenomenal speakers, a women panel, We'll also have a chef that will be there cooking and giving you cooking tips since we're in, in the house a lot these days. And then we'll close everything out on the 12th. So it's a free event. It's virtual. You don't have to get off your couch. You can keep your bonnet on your head. Register at www.amazingwomensweekend.com. I promise you, you don't want to miss out. Sounds and good. Mm -hmm. We can't leave this out. So I would like to send a very happy birthday to my first lady, Sharita West, today. Yes. Birthday. Also, happy anniversary to Pastor Ralph Douglas West and Sharita West on their anniversary today. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm so glad we're speaking of that, of both of them. And you all have three locations, is that right? Three? Bengal, Queenston, and Eldridge. Absolutely. I'm glad you're speaking of that. Uh, that, that, hmm? that keeps me grounded. <laughs> you gotta have, you gotta have, you gotta have the law that keeps, that keeps you grounded. Absolutely. Let's, let's say those dates again about the amazing women's weekend virtual September, conference. September 10th through the 12th. Okay. The 10th. Through A the free 12th. event. All you got to do is register, pick your classes, because you'll be able to take different classes with different of uh, the women we have. Absolutely. And you're staying at home and it's virtual. Yes. Mm -hmm. You won't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. I love that part. Let's go back to our life TV show. What would you like mm -hmm. to see it coming out? September 19th is your date. Is that right? I want, yeah, I'll be back because I, I, I decided um, my birthday was in July, so I decided I was not going to work mm -hmm. in July. <laughs> so um, I'm going back in the studio September 19th, 
And the last show I did was on social injustice. Mm -hmm. And uh, before that, I did a racism show because unfortunately, this is a time that we're living in right now. Uh, but the show is catered to women. I wanted to go back to my women. So what I did, uh, September 19th, we're doing a so show on judgment and stereotypes because I feel we need to take the mask off of that for women because we are judged and looked at differently versus a man. Our pay is different than a man's pay as well. So that's what that show will be by September 19th. <laughs> I'm so glad. Let's talk about social injustice. I saw that show. It was excellent. Let's let's Thank bring let's let's talk about some of the things that uh, came about that show. You know that you spoke mm -hmm. about. And what do you what do we what do you want to start with? <laughs> <laughs> it was, well, basically, yeah, let's start we, off. We, that, we talked hmm? about we talked about police brutality. Yes. Um, I had police officers. I had uh, Representative Ron Reynolds, Jarvis Johnson, KP. George, uh, Brian Middleton, we had a police officer on there. We had an activist, pastor, try and business owners trying to come together as one. And, and every, so everybody can get on the right page because we're all over the place right now. Absolutely. Let's take a break and we'll jump right back into it. Be right back. We'll be right back to the Cam Hill Show after these messages. Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, Ron Carter Cadillac, delivers test drives to your home or office. For a limited time, get $16,000 off all in-stock Cadillac 2019 XT5 crossovers and $19,000 off all in-stock 2019 CT6 sedans. Or experience the first ever 2020 Cadillac XT6 Premium Luxury Collection, only $519 with $1 down for 39 months lease. Or purchase and receive 0.9% APR for 72 months with no payments until November. RonCarterCadillac.com when it comes to protecting yourself and your partners, all the information out there can be overwhelming. Visit our website. We are a free and confidential service striving to help you stay informed and stay notified. We are committed to a healthy Houston. Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, Ron Carter Cadillac, delivers test drives to your home or office. Drive the new 2020 Cadillac XT4, only $399 a month, or the new 2020 XT5, only $429 a month, both for 39 months lease with just $1 down. Or purchase the XT4 or XT5 and enjoy 0.9% APR for 72 months with no payments until November. RonCarterCadillac.com have you been injured in an 18-wheeler accident, truck accident, car accident? Was someone texting and ran into the back of you, not paying attention? It doesn't matter what it is. Give me a call, Attorney Willie Powell. We'll fix it today. The number is 281-881-2457. Again, that number is 281 281- 881-2457. We'll fix it today. Call attorney Willie Powell. And now back to the Cam Hill Show. Hey, we are back with Monique. Let's jump right back into it about social injustice. We were the okay. main thing we were really talking about in George Floyd. Just that incident, just us able to really look and see him living and passing away through the process of us looking at that with, with the young man with the knee on his neck and him breathing at one point, talking, and then him dying. <laughs> that, um, Cam, that is, that was something. Yes. And, and, and that's me being nice. Yes. I can't say what I want to say. Yes. Uh, but um, something needs to change. Yes. Because since George Floyd, we have seen how many more? Yes. Since? Yes. And and I, don't get me wrong. I, I used to work, uh, before I got on TV, I worked with police officers mm. Uh. And I've been around, I have a lot of friends that are police officers. I've, I've dated police officers. I'm not understanding because they are trained 
to do a certain job. Mm -hmm. And when you have someone by their shirt mm -hmm. and you still shoot them in their back, mm -hmm. I'm not understanding that. Right. When you have someone that is telling you he has anxiety, he doesn't want to get in the car. Y'all, I know he still has to get into the car. But you have him on the ground, he's laying on his chest, and you decide it's okay to put your knee on his neck, and you have your hands in your pocket, and you look casually like it's a regular day. It's a problem in the, in, in the United States of America. It's Absolutely. a very big problem. It is. Very it big is. Problem. I go with what Will Smith said. He said, it has been going on, it's just being filmed. That's that, the difference. That is true. That is true. Yeah. It's that just being filmed. Different. But yeah. but my thing that I ask him, uh, and I ask this all the time, I can't get an answer. Mm -hmm. For police officers, are you in fear for your life? Mm -hmm. Or are you just racist? Wow. Because if you are a police officer and you're in fear for your life, mm -hmm. you should not be a police officer. You mm -hmm. need to get another job that, mm -hmm. where you won't be safe. Right. So it's one of the two. Are you in fear for your life because mm -hmm. you've been trained thoroughly? Right. Or are you just Wow. It, it, it's point blank. That's point blank. At this point. That's right there. Yeah. Point blank right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's it. One yeah. or the other, right? Exactly. That's how I look at that. Because it's no, it's, I, I'm not understanding. You have the training. It's no excuse yes. for the stuff that's going on. Exactly. And then you buy, cover up, the whole department covers up. I'm, I'm not understanding. Everyone is human. I don't care what color you are. We're human beings. Right. I don't care what color we are. And there were some things that were put in place for this. Body cams were put in place. So people could see and help you and then send back up if you were in fear for your life. Those Cam, things were there. They got to turn it on, Cam. <laughs> they got to turn on the body cams. Um, they got to turn them on, Cam. Yeah, okay. <laughs> those, were, those were supposed to be part of, of helping the in fear for your life and also for us to see, you know, everybody to see. They were supposed to have them on video on the dashboards of the actual cars. That's already in place. We're paying for that. That's, that, was, that was extra. Again, <laughs> if you are in fear for your life and you are a police officer, I need for you to resign and go get another job. There you go. Because when you signed up to be a police officer, you had certain rules. You knew what you was going into. And mm -hmm. you know, as a police officer, when you go out on the street, it's very possible you may not come home. Wow. So if you are in fear of your life and you scared to deal with people that are in the world today, yes. please resign. Go get another job before you kill somebody else. There you go. Let's jump right into voting. Yes, Lord. We... <laughs> Cam, you gonna make me? You gonna make me cut up? And my friends told me not to act up on your show on your show today. That's they, what they, they, told they, they told you. They told you not to act up. Okay. Well, we yeah, gonna, gonna we make gonna... me. <laughs> Voting is a serious issue. November the third is do or die. That's what it is. Either you are in or you're not. It's serious. It's major. It's major. We stand in line for everything else. Yeah. We do stand in line for everything else. And I, I need for people, you, you know, Cam, I don't <laughs> like to drive. I don't, I don't like to drive. And, and my friends is watching this. They'll, they'll testify to that. She right. hates to drive. Right. But at this point, Cam, I will drive you to the polls. <laughs> I need for everybody to go and vote. I don't care if you have to stand in line two, three, four, five hours. Mm -hmm. Please go vote. The other, because it, I cannot take another year. Oh, and the other education about voting is this. Voting is an act and not a law for African Americans, mm -hmm. if we don't know that. 
whoever the sitting president is at that time and it comes up again has to resign for that for us to vote and continue. And that's 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 written down if people don't know that. It's not a law. I, I think with everyone, I don't care what background <clears throat> my ear is topping up, excuse me. I don't care what background mm -hmm. you come from. I think we all need to start doing more research. Right. You need to start doing more research on the government, the laws, how things really truly work. Right. So you'll know. Don't go on what you see on Facebook and right. all this stuff. Research it. Go right. back into the history. Go back into African American history and see what is what. Find out that we made a whole lot of stuff as uh, African Americans. Right. Back right. Then. Absolutely. Absolutely. We need to also talk about the fact about uh, voting locally. Those are people, yeah. judges. <laughs> A lot of people think judges are appointed. Federal judges are, but some of the federal judges are appointed. But voting judges in, you may have to stand in front of that judge that you voted in. <laughs> so you need to understand and get education about who's running for who, you know, in what position. And the, and the thing is, you have to also understand about politicians. Politicians, uh, politicians lie. Please understand, they all lie. They all will say what they need to say to get into that position and seat that they want. Right. When they get in that position and seat, you need to hold them accountable for what they do not do in your right. community. Right. We. That's another thing. We don't hold people accountable anymore. We just let people slide. We let them slide maybe because of the color of their skin or we let them slide for whatever reason. We need to start taking responsibility and being accountable for what we do as individuals. Right. Bottom line. Absolutely. We also need to talk, know who our state reps are if we want anything changed yep. at the state level, which is Texas, here in Texas. If you're in a, and I know some other states are looking, I have some friends out of Vegas and out of, you know, L.A. and so in Chicago that are looking on today in New York. But we all, whoever your local representative at your state level your local level, your council members or so, you need to know who they are because they represent you and whatever is happening around you affects you. And uh, you know, when I did the social injustice show uh, and I sat down and had the pleasure of speaking with, uh, with Ron Reynolds and Jarvis mm -hmm. Johnson and now they, right. I asked them, how hard is it to change legislation? Yes. And, and they explained to me how it, it's very hard. Yes. And if we don't come together, it won't get done. Right. They, right. They explain that. Right. It won't get done. And it's several laws that are still on the books that were for the 60s, the 70s, mm -hmm. the 80s, and 90s. But in the 2020, it won't help. It's not, you know what I'm saying? It, it's not no. something that's effective now that was effective then. Exactly. We're we're in a whole different time now. Right. We're in a whole Back different then. time. We really are. And that's what voting is about. Just uh, and mm -hmm. us being educated on voting. And we need to understand who's who before we get to the voting booth. Exactly. You know what I mean? Don't don't vote straight Democrat, uh straight Republican. Research who these people are. Mm -hmm. What what have they done previously? Mm -hmm. Or they just woke up yesterday and decided they were going to run for office like the individual we have in office right now. Exactly. So time. right now we have voter <laughs> registration that's still available until October the 5th. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then October the 13th through the 30th, that is actually early voting. And we in Texas are very... Uh, we're able to do two weeks. Some people don't have early voting like that. They have one or two days in other states. And we have actually two weeks early voting. And that's a good thing. So it's no excuse. Exactly. It's no excuse. Exactly. No. Exactly. So I know a lot of people wait until the last day or the day of, which is that Tuesday. They wait until that day. But unfortunately, something may happen. Rain. The machines go down. The locations are packed, you know. The, fraud. 
The other thing now is also the NBA arenas are available for voting. Yeah, I heard that the um, the Toyota Center, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the Toyota Center. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, there are bigger spots, there are bigger arenas that can that can do things. Most definitely, it's, it's no excuse. Mm -hmm. It's no excuse for anybody not to get out and go vote. Absolutely. 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 Census. The census. I think we talked a little bit about that. September 30th, the census will be, that's the deadline for the census. They moved it from October the 30th to September the 30th. They moved it up mm -hmm. for the deadline. And let's talk about the so, census. I don't think a lot, I don't know if it's, I don't know if a lot of people understand uh, because the census, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I know very little about it uh but it brings money into your communities right that's correct to do okay okay based and on the number of people in the neighborhood based on the number of people yeah. that we've said are in the neighborhood yeah and i don't think too many people know about that and i think um a lot of people are concerned if if they're illegal they don't want to they're not trying to answer no one's questions and the ones <laughs> that are legal are trying to answer no one's questions well, the crazy, and then we have a lot of people that say, hey, we don't want people in our business. Well, they're already in your business. They already know. They know you, how many people are really living there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, they really do know. I'm not going to tell you what, oh, what okay. somebody I know did the other day about the census, so I'm going to leave that out. You but they tried that? to play a trick on the census report as they were doing it. And it was like, well, why wouldn't do that? How do they know that I'm not? I said, they know, <laughs> they know uh, that you are not this race and you try and you really this race. They know. <laughs> they know. <laughs> they know that. Yeah. I was like, they know. Don't you, they have your driver's license or something. So they, they are aware. <laughs> I love that. I love that. On that same day, you met with a lot of some police officers and also commissioners. You met with several people. Yeah, on that day, because I yes. wanted the show to be um, informative. Uh huh. I think after George Floyd, we really need um, we need to make a change. Yes. Because I, I, at times I feel like we're we're going back mm -hmm. to to slavery time almost. Mm -hmm. You know, so we need to make a change, and that's why I wanted all of them to be there, so th we can understand what happens in government mm -hmm. and how hard it is to change laws and stuff like that get an understanding from a police officer that that trains other police officers to understand and like me and him both said you can't win against a police officer on the street mm -hmm. and and i and i've always felt that way mm -hmm. you know if, if they're if they stop you some of them stop you they have a bad attitude you if they're going to take you to jail, just go. Yes. I, I'll just go and deal with your foolishness after the fact because I'd rather be alive. Right. Just just go. Just go. Just go. Yeah. That makes sense. And sure. activists, we... Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the activists, we talk to her because, I, you know, in this day and time, a lot of people um, call themselves activists. Yes. And... Uh, I asked her, is it some type of training mm -hmm. to be an activist? Because an activist has to be able to work with the media, the police department, the community, mm -hmm. and come and be that 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 calm voice to mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. you know, so I, I had the pleasure of sitting down talking with all of them about that as well. Absolutely. What uh, the other uh, piece to that, as we were talking, is about, and I just had someone ask about children going back to school. So right now they're virtual. Well, just, mm -hmm. well, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, is it isn't some districts going actually taking them all back in in some the next are. couple of weeks? Or so? mm -hmm. Some are. I, I I said this before on a video I did a long time ago. I think for parents, I don't have any kids. But I think for parents, you, you really need to research. You need to do your research 
You need to meet with your child's pediatrician. You need to uh, get with the school and see what exactly they have in place if you send your child back to school. I understand you, you probably, some of, them, some of the parents are tired of them being at home. <laughs> I understand that. And they really do need to go back to school because with this going on, Cam, our kids are really, I don't think at home, most of them are getting the education they need. Right. So they really do need to go back to school. But as a parent, you need to do your research mm -hmm. and make sure it's safe and what's in place if someone gets sick at that school. Right. I agree with that. I agree with that. I do. I do. As far as uh, other injustices, did, did you all speak of other things there? Well, we spoke, well, I spoke to business owners that closed yes. out my show. Mm -hmm. And when I go uh, a couple of places, I've been basically high schools where mm -hmm. I've spoken to kids. I very, uh, a strong believer in owning your own stuff. Yeah. Own your own business. Mm -hmm. it, it's no reason why you can't. Mm -hmm. If you have a, a, a purpose or a dream or something you want to start, start it. Mm -hmm. Don't let nobody tell you you can't. Own your own business. Open up your own, own stuff. So the business owners, we talked about that and how you can start owning your own stuff and, and the process of doing that and so forth and so on. So that was a good conversation, too. It was. The other thing, too, that we talked about, the two of us, I have spoken mm -hmm. about extensively is that the uh, the African American dollar only stays in our community six hours. And we spent $1.9 trillion in 2019 ourselves. 13, and they have us from census, they have us as 45 million African Americans that are in the United States, and only 13% of us are a piece. We're 13% of the United States, adding up to the 40, that's what 45 million represents, only 13%. Mm -hmm. Okay? Of, out of 100% of people, mm -hmm. for example, out of 300 or so, out of 330 million people, I believe it is, where's 45 million of us. I think uh, even, even for myself, we, we need to learn how to save, we need to learn how to invest, and we need to find that little piece of something in us to give us that motivation to know we can do something. Because I think fear holds us back. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And and having people in our ears telling us, "Oh, you can't do that. How you mm -hmm. gonna do that? You know how mm -hmm. to do that." We can't. We gotta. At this point, with what we're what we have going on in the world, we have to stop living uh, like that. Absolutely. We have to. We have to make some changes. Absolutely. Really, we do. Let's do this. We'll take a break, and we'll be right back with Monique. We'll be right back to the Cam Hill Show after these messages. When it comes to protecting yourself and your partners, all the information out there can be overwhelming. Visit our website. We are a free and confidential service striving to help you stay informed and stay notified. We are committed to a healthy Houston. Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, Ron Carter Cadillac, delivers test drives to your home or office. Drive the new 2020 Cadillac XT4, only $399 a month, or the new 2020 XT5, only $429 a month, both for 39 months lease with just $1 down. Or purchase the XT4 or XT5 and enjoy 0.9% APR for 72 months with no payments until November. RonCarterCadillac.com. Have you been injured in an 18-wheeler accident, truck accident, car accident? Was someone texting and ran into the back of you, not paying attention? It doesn't matter what it is. Give me a call, Attorney Willie Powell. We'll fix it today. The number is 281-881-2457. Again, that number is 281 281- 881-2457. We'll fix it today. Call attorney Willie Powell. 
Houston's only Cadillac to your door dealer, Ron Carter Cadillac, delivers test drives to your home or office. For a limited time, get $16,000 off all in-stock Cadillac 2019 XT5 crossovers and $19,000 off all in-stock 2019 CT6 sedans. Or experience the first-ever 2020 Cadillac XT6 Premium Luxury Collection, only $519 with $1 down for 39 months lease. Or purchase and receive 0.9% APR for 72 months with no payments until November. RonCarterCadillac.com and now back to the Cam Hill Show. Hey, family. Thank you so much for coming back. We're here with Monique, and we were just talking, Monique, about uh, injustice. We were talking to you about voting and census. Uh, we were just, I mean, we were just, we just talk. Me and you just, just chatting. Yeah, we <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to speaking uh, to women a little more. I, I just was looking at some questions and some things about uh, women and what women should do uh, as far as we were talking about dating. We were talking about, you know, sexual assault and things like that. Red flags. Have you spoken to women about some red flags, maybe? One lady was asking. Uh, um. <laughs> I think we we I, I have kind of especially with my girlfriends we talk about that and we see red flags but sometimes we ignore the red flags right so um even for myself uh -huh. um when someone um doesn't call you and you call all the time <laughs> you don't like you <laughs> <laughs> see you he starting to cut up you. see there she go uh, <laughs> But when you see a red flag, yeah, and you probably know, yeah, I would say to a woman, and you probably know it's a red flag, yeah, but you kind of like on the fence about it. But yeah. when you see it a second time, mm -hmm. it's time for you to kind of move yourself out that situation, especially if the person has a temper, yeah, and all that kind of stuff. It's time to Sound move yourself out that situation. That sounds good. That sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask the other question that other women want to know. Okay. Uh, you said the open book. Uh, why are so many, I won't just say successful, but women are single. Why are women single? I, Some I women, just, not you all. Know, you know, you're, you know, you are the second show that I'm on this week. <laughs> I was on another on Tuesday. And actually that was uh, what it was about. Yes. Uh, and they called me out and said, are you ever going to get married? Oh. So I'm like, oh, no, you didn't. <laughs> um, I brought that up because of that. I looked at it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me personally, um, I would love to get married. Yes. I would love to, to have a significant other in my life. Mm -hmm. uh, but I want someone that. I know if I marry you, you have my back 100% because I'm going to have your back 100%. Mm -hmm. And for me, I haven't found that. And when I meet someone, they don't get to know who I am as an individual to right. me. Mm -hmm. they, they, I, I, it's PG show, so I can't say what I want to <laughs> say. And also, they want to... Um, you know, a lot of them I've met men sometimes, they want to watch every show I have and I don't watch my show. So why would I want to sit there and watch them with you? You know, so it's just, yeah. Okay. I have to see certain things and that's what I said yeah. to them. For me, mm -hmm. I, I would love to have someone in my life, but right. I have to see that you have my back 100% in the bad and the good. <laughs> as you get older or as we get older, do you think our list... Uh, we can take some things off the list, you know, as we get older. Uh, I, I have to take things off the list. <laughs> <laughs> I, damn. I'm trying, I'm trying not to cut up here. I'm trying to. <laughs> I took things off the list many, many, many moons ago. <laughs> and still. And still, and it's still, not. Like, <laughs> I, I'm difficult from what I've. I'm, but, I'm a very strong-minded, hard-head individual, and I run my own business. So I have to learn sometimes mm -hmm. in certain situations, you are not the boss. 
<laughs> you are not the boss right here, so you need to step back. But I yep. still have the boss attitude. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I t I've removed many things off mm -hmm. the off the list. So I think for me, it will just have to be a very strong individual. Yeah. To, have to be able to deal with me. <laughs> I was going to I was going to ask about submissive, but I don't know if that's right. You was going to ask what about submissive, being submissive. I have learned um, since I've gotten older, yes. and I think we all should learn that, is to learn how to compromise, Yes. Uh, learn how to listen yes. to one another mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So I have learned how to compromise because when you're in a relationship, it's not just about you. Right. You know, right. you, you're, whatever you do and whatever moves you make, it, it also can affect the other person that Absolutely. you're with. So Absolutely. you need to be always mindful. So I, but I had to learn that. As I got older, mm -hmm. absolutely, I didn't know what I <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I understand that. I understand that. And I know a lot of things are in the Bible and biblical, and a lot of things. But we are in human beings and in a daily, you know, setting on a daily basis. And I sin every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know what? I can't. <laughs> We, yeah. We're trying to make it Go through ahead. here. We're trying to make it through. We're trying to make it through. I, hey, family, I'm just trying to make it through. I knew. I knew <laughs> as we would go along, we were gonna have to. We were gonna have to just. I mean, we're going. We, we're doing good. We're doing real well, though. We're doing real well. But I will. I will ask about that. I understand. And many women say, "Hey, I, I just choose to be single." That's true. I just choose it. I just choose. I'm happy where I'm at. I don't want anybody to, you know mess me up there and I'm really I'm really excited about being single but I think that we were made well I know we were we were made to be together you know like Adam and Eve you know what I'm saying just made to be together and I'm with you we have to but, listen more even us guys we don't we don't listen to, I don't listen I'm working on it but I, I'm, <laughs> but I'm working on we it. we are we are made to be with somebody yes uh, but not just anybody that's true and absolutely we and sometimes we have to work on ourselves yes before we can be with somebody right you right. know uh i enjoy I, I honestly enjoy sometimes being by myself but sometimes i want that that attention yes um but you know i just look at it as God has somebody for me. Uh -huh. It's just not that time because I might need to continue to work on me. Right. Because you can't be in a relationship with somebody when you are still messed up. Right. That's not going to work. I, yes, definitely. Definitely. And then I think, like I said, as we get older, some things are, are not so important as maybe when you're younger. Maybe younger, more physique, more physicality. Even for men, you know, the young, you know, if some we're young, maybe for that. But as you get older, you want somebody, or I do, you know, you then want someone to be with you that's, like you said, have your back. I mean, each of you is 100%. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If one person is sick, you still, the, everything still goes along. You know, you still got the, the household is still running, you know? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with that. So, but but for some of the women, it's I think they're chasing someone, some some guys chasing, and we are the hunter. We like to hunt too. So I mean, I don't know how that goes. Yeah, I think I'm. I you talking about me now, Cam? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got to find you, lady. We got to find you. You got to pray for us. Pray pray that we find you. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, because I'm yeah. kind of other way. You the other way around? Yeah. You're controlling yeah, it? I, okay, I got you. I understand. Sometimes. I sometimes. Am, yeah. yeah. I understand that. I understand that. And we're okay with that. We're okay with that. Do you see that a lot with other women? Your friends? Uh, sometimes. Yeah. But not often. Not often. Okay. Okay. Uh, most the of my friends were pretty much all on that same page as... You wasted my time, so I'm not going to fool with you. And Ooh. we go on. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that. What you say? We go on? <laughs> you just you X them off? You don't give them time to even try to 
come together and, and learn who you are and stuff? It don't, it don't, it doesn't take a man that long. You, <laughs> you, I mean, men and women, you know what type of female you're looking for. You know if you want to be yes. in a serious relationship or you just want to do something to play around. You know this from out straight out the gate. So <laughs> no. Well, mm -hmm. I, I, especially I, I, when, especially Cam, when you're forty plus, you know this. <laughs> you already know. You already know what you yeah. want. You know what you want. Is yeah, okay. I do. I just haven't found it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. But you say you have. At least you know you haven't found it in heaven. But you say you no. haven't settled. You're not going to settle. I like that. You no, know what you want. because I because I my parents were married for almost sixty years before wow. my father passed. away. Yeah. So I watched my father take care of my mother when she was ill, and I watched her take care of him when he was ill till he passed away. Right. So that's that's what I want. And if you can't make me a simple bowl of noodles when I have a cold, you're not going to take care of me <laughs> if I marry you. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's not gonna work. You've already tested that out. That ain't gonna work. That's not gonna yeah, work. Yeah, it's not gonna work. But you said something earlier. We just have a few minutes. You said something earlier to the ladies. You you told them if you're doing all the calling and they're not calling you back or something. He don't want you. you know, <laughs> what if he's texting? What if he's texting? We're not gonna. Now you in my back door. Ooh. You you you, you you in my back door account. We can't. <laughs> He don't want you. That's <laughs> you can't believe that there. You and some of my friends is watching this, so they know when you ask about that texting thing, I, I, you in my back door now. So okay, they, yeah, okay. They looking like she not gonna answer that. Okay, I'm gonna slide <laughs> out. I'm gonna slide out of they, here. We gonna go. <laughs> the, the end of that is they don't want. They don't want you. They don't want you. They okay. Don't want you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna leave that right there. So. <laughs> Hey, let's go back and say Amazing Women's Weekend. Let's tell the date again. Amazing Women's Weekend is September 10th through the 12th. So ladies, go to www.amazingwomensweekend.com, register. Mm -hmm. It is free. Sign up for your classes. You definitely don't want to miss out Amazing Women's Weekend. And if it's okay with you, I'm going to throw in about my show. But I yes. know what you was going to Go ahead. Let's go. This is the uh, last. So You're saying, so <laughs> what's happening right now is that you will so be giving can... last words and tell about your show, where to find it. Okay. So we did not talk about the uh, network. I am signed to the On Point Network, which is based in Alabama. Mm -hmm. So you guys can find me in Houston on Access Cable, Channel 17, Comcast, 99, at and Uverse. You can also catch me on Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV, and Xbox, all under the On Point Network. I will be in the station September 19th doing a show on judgment and stereotypes for women. Uh, you can catch, uh, find us, follow us, share us on all social media platforms under our life. Um, and I think that's about it. If I'm leaving us, check out our YouTube page as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, what was that website again? Is there a website? For what? The On Point Network? No, for your you show. Uh, uh, for the YouTube page? Yes, yeah, the YouTube. Okay, YouTube page. Yes. Uh, YouTube is under our life. Okay. Our life TV show. Everything under our life yeah. everything is and our life point, yeah in the on point network i'm um, come on every wednesday at 8 p.m i know i was forgetting something i come on every wednesday at 8 p.m on the all point network on all point network okay if people uh so that's the location where they can find you let's say let's say those again on how uh, they you find can you catch on access cable uh channel 17 channel mm -hmm. 99 at&t uverse that's here in houston or you can do a live stream at hmstv.org. You can download the On Point Network app. You can catch us on there every Wednesday at 8 p.m. or on Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV, Xbox, or none of that works for you. You can go to our YouTube page and catch us uh, under our live TV show. Follow us, like us on all social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, all of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> Man, this has been exciting, lady. Such an epic moment. So, so you, epic. Thank you. You're going to have to come to my show. So that's your invite. We just, 
I got to get you there between the end of this year and first of next year. Absolutely. I would love to. Love to sit down with you. I'm telling you guys, you have got to see our life. It's absolutely amazing. I love each one of your shows. I just, I, I, I love you, Monique. Yes, we just, man. Well, I think I love you too, Cam. I do. I do. Besides we have a great time. Besides you being in my back door about that tax, that tax. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're going to get me when I get off of here. I know you're going to get me. <laughs> backstory behind that i'll Absolutely. tell you the backstory I, okay. I couldn't share the backstory on, okay. on this live feed <laughs> exactly 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 i thank you i man god bless you god thank keep you, you and you continue you keep soaring with the eagles lady you are on your you way too. you're on your way lady thank you're doing i mean you you been, too. you've been 10 years in the game you've been doing this 10 years 10 years two shows 10 years and two shows. Thank you. Yes, thank you for everything that you do. Uh, I watch you, you to educate myself what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> you. I do. Come on. I try, to, I try to educate myself. You know, I don't know that much, but I'm trying to educate, trying to learn. Well, thank you very much. That means a lot to me. I and I was happy that. to be here because I don't get to be on this side of the table. I'm yes. always on your side. Absolutely. So I so Absolutely. It was so good to hear, to see you and to know your story. Thank you for being so transparent and thank you for everything you've done for Houston and uh, just how you've impacted over the years. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hey guys, we will be back on Tuesday. Labor Day is Monday. Uh, we're gonna show a show there, but I will be back live on Tuesday. See you then, thank you. God bless.